what does the Vatican think about independent fundamental Baptist, uh, the, that mode of baptism? Well, my wife found this really interesting article here. Uh, it says, I'm going to put this up on screen. We'll show you the screenshot from the website where this was at. The following information has been provided to the Office of Worship and Christian Initiation by Father Jerry Plotkowski, or Plot, Plotkowski, Judicial Vicar. It is our hope that it will help you in discerning the canonical status of your candidates. Okay, in other words, can they be admitted into the Vatican, into the Catholic Church without too much of a problem? Okay, where was this thing from? The Archdiocese of Santa Fe, New Mexico. Okay, Archdiocese of Santa Fe, New Mexico um, is where this thing's from. Let's look at these. Baptism in Protestant religions. Most Protestant baptisms are recognized as valid baptisms. Some are not. It is very difficult to question the validity of a baptism because of an intention either on the part of the minister or on the, or on the part of the one being baptized. Okay, first it starts out with Adventists there. And you, you can read it. I'm not going to go through all of it there, but it's valid. African Methodist Episcopal, valid. Amish, valid. Which, of course, should be no surprise to you because Amish are basically uh, Franciscan uh, monastic nun, or, well, nuns and monks. They're just allowed to procreate. <laughs> you know, and, and, you know, I'm from Lancaster County, Pennsylvania. I know all about the Amish. Uh, we've known, I've talked to the Amish communes up here. Um, you know, we've done a lot of the things exposing the Amish system. It, it is, it's Catholicism is the whole thing. Anglican, valid baptism. Apostolic Church, valid. The Assembly of God, valid. Baptists. Let's read this one. No infant baptism. There is a ceremony of dedication Valid baptism takes place at the approximate age of 13. Why is it that the Roman Catholic Church recognizes Baptists as having valid baptism? Didn't Andrew Snake have some kind of hmm. a revelation given to him about the rapture thing when he was in his early teens? Yeah, I think, I think uh, my wife is saying here, didn't Anderson have a, you know, he, the, the post-trib system was revealed to him, I think, when he was 13 or something, you know, yeah, but uh, I won't say any more about that, I'll let you, uh, <laughs> whatever, <laughs> uh, Evangelical United Brethren, valid, Universalists, no valid baptism, Salvation Army, no baptism, Latter-day Saints Church, the Mormons, Invalid. Uh, Pentecostal churches, invalid. Christadelphians, invalid. Jehovah's Witnesses, valid baptism. I'm sorry, no, it's, it's excuse me, it's not, that one is not in bold. Invalid. Church of the Brethren, valid. Sorry, I read that a little bit wrong. Bohemian free thinkers, no baptism. <laughs> that sounds like a good one. Church of God, valid. Christian and Missionary Alliance, hey, the big money cult. That it is. You you pay off your Babel building that's under the CMA system, and they'll confiscate it. Proven. I, you know, I, that's, I have a study on that. Uh, but theirs is valid, according to the Vatican. Christian scientists, no true baptism. Church of Divine Science, apparently invalid baptism. <laughs> Disciples and Christians, valid baptism. So, Episcopalian, valid. Lutheran, valid. Of course, Lutherans are Catholics. They always have been. Methodist Church, valid. Congregational, valid. Evangelical, valid. Presbyterian, valid. So, good news. If you're part of one of those that are considered to be valid, you have an easy just inroad right to the, to the Vatican. Congratulations. So, again, you know, this, this whole thing of, of Baptists and the modern IFB system what they do is they say, we're not part of the Protestant Reformation. We're come, we come from the Anabaptist movement. Uh, well, that's not true. You see, the Anabaptist, early Anabaptist movement, uh, they were called Anabaptists because it meant rebaptizer. And those early Baptists um, were not at all part of the whole Protestant thing. But what happened is, in a sly, subtle way, the devil moved in and usurped the whole Baptist movement. So now the modern IFB system is 
no different than any other Protestant denomination out there, except for some of their beliefs. But their baptism is valid according to the Vatican. Hmm. How did it go from being the Catholic Church demeaning these people, these early believers, calling them Anabaptist? How did it go from that to now accepting them? Kind of weird, isn't it? 